Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, welcome. My name is Ashley Elizabeth and I'm a makeup artist from the UK. So today's video is hopefully going to kick off a brand new series here on my channel and just basically it's me giving older eyeshadow palettes a second go around just to see how well they actually perform so this is just down to palettes that i had years ago that i ne never necessarily had the skill set for or palettes that i've had for a while that i just tend not to reach for because i've got other favorites so i'm gonna slowly be making my way through my collection it's just seeing how they work and seeing what looks i can create i want to be creating more than one look in each video so i'm going to go for two looks and i'm going to go for one of a softer glam and one of a more extravagant bold colorful crazy glam so today i am going to start off with the morphe and jacqueline hill palette and this is the volume two so as you can see the color story in this palette i'm sure you've all seen it before we've got a lot of purples and pinks and reds and all them lovely tones so i'm going to be diving in there today to see what i can come up with i have sketched out a couple different ideas so i'm going to see how well they work and how well this palette works so if you would like to see me create a couple different looks with the morphe jacqueline hill volume 2 palette then please keep on watching so this is the first look we've gone for this is super quick and easy i love a little pop of yellow it just seems to brighten up the day no matter what it's like outside this literally took me 10 minutes to do i have already got a little bit of concealer on my eyelids and because it is a super soft look i'm not going to bother priming them with any eyeshadow base but what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab my makeup revolution foundation stick and this one is in the shade f13 and I'm going to run this through my crease just to give our eyeshadow something to stick to. And this will just really help intensify the eyeshadow that we put on top. And I'm just using a Zoeva 224. I use the same brushes all the time and I always forget the names of them. I've just switched to a 228 just to help really blend that out. Then I'm going to grab my Morphe Jacqueline Hill Volume 2 palette. And the first shade I'm going to go in with is this nice rich brown called G Money. And I'm going to pack this on all through my crease. So I'm going to grab a M507 by Morphe just to really build that shade up. Then I'm going to switch to a Zoeva 227 just to help start blending that out slightly. Then just to blend around those edges, I wanted a slightly lighter tone. However, most of the other brownie coloured eyeshadows in the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette are very pinky toned. And I feel like for like this colourway, it would just completely throw it off. So instead, instead, I'm just going to grab my NARS Laguna Bronzer and just use this around the edges on another Zoeva 227. I know the first Jaclyn Hill palette was more, mostly like neutrals and browns, so I think they've kind of steered away from it with this one i had the first palette and i absolutely loved it i might use that in this series at some point as well because i can't remember the last time i actually used that palette i'm just going to go back in with g money and just build that up this one doesn't perform the same as the original palette like i said the original palette i absolutely adored and i still kept that in like my professional kit for a while anytime there was neutrals or weddings or then i'm gonna add in my yellow but before i do so i do want something for that yellow to stick to so i'm just gonna grab my nars soft matte concealer in the shade chantilly and just sort of sketch out a rough half cut crease shape and i'm just using a molly o'brien jade brush I really want that yellow to pop so this just helps clear the way for it then I'm first going to go in with the bright yellow from the palette this one here called no joke and I'm going to press that on all over the top of that concealer and I'm going to use a Molly O'Brien XM04 for this So you could actually leave it there if you wanted to but 
it's me and I love sparkle so we're going to add some sparkle. I'm going to go in with the gorgeous gold shimmery shade here called Talia and just to make sure that really pops and really grips to that yellow I'm going to add a slight bit of glitter glue. So I'm going to take my Molly O'Brien Emily brush and a little touch of the NYX glitter primer and I'm just going to tap this right on top of that yellow really working it in then i'm gonna go straight into that gold shimmer shade and just pop it right on top this is stunning i know there was some controversy over the formula of this palette compared to the old palette but one thing i can say for certain is the shimmers in this palette are to die for I'm just going back around with G Money just to soften out that top edge. And that's essentially it for the look. I'm going to pop on an eyelash and today I am going into the Molly Cosmetics Multi Pack. This is the Flutter Eyes one. And I'm taking this top style here which is called Flicker. And while I wait for that glue to get dry, I'm just going to go in with some of the Morphe Make It Big Mascara. So I'm going to move on to the under eye just to make sure that those eyeshadows stick on the under eye I'm going to use the same foundation stick as before and I'm just going to go back in with that G Money shade on a Morphe M213 and then just blending it out with a little bit of that bronzer and I want to bring a little bit of this yellow concoction onto the under eye. So I'm going to grab a little bit of that glitter glue again and just tap it on this inner corner here. Then I've just popped on a touch of No Joker and Talia just to tie that all together. For eyeliner, I'm going to use the Morphe eyeliner pencil in the shade Secret. And then just to finish off the eye, I'm going to take the Il Maquillage Icon Mascara for the bottom lashes. Then of course we have to go for a nude lip. So I'm going to take my Morphe Lip Liner Pencil in the shade Spiffy. I feel like this feels like it's an absolute sponsor for Morphe. It's not. I just happen to like a lot of Morphe products. And then for lipstick, I'm going to take the Vive Modern Matte Lipstick in the shade Treasure. I don't actually have any highlighter on. I was going to put it on at the end, but I feel like I'm liking this without highlighter. So I think I might just leave it. So that is all for look number one. What do we think? I feel like that's the quickest I've ever done an eyeshadow look on this channel. First of all... The eyeshadows were working quite well, but obviously this is quite a soft look. I haven't gone for anything too heavy, nothing too technical, so they did work pretty easy for that. I am going to move on and create something a little bit crazy. So if you want to see my next look as well as my final opinions, let's keep watching. And I'm back. So as you can see from this eye, we have gone for some sunset vibes, a bit of purple some sparklies so i'm gonna dive straight in show you how i created this look with the morphe jacqueline hill volume 2 palette so first off i'm gonna prime my eye using the p louise eyeshadow base and this one is in the shade number two i'm just gonna use my doll beauty db11 brush just to get that all over the eyelid And then I'm just going to soften the edges with this fluffy brush. I know it's from Morphe, but the name has completely rubbed off. I want to say an R03, but just a, a fluffy eyeshadow brush. Now it is time to dive into the eyeshadows. So the first shade I'm going to take from the palette is this super rich purple shade here which is called not my journey and i'm going to use my morphe m507 to start packing this all through the crease one thing i feel like i do remember when i first got this palette was i remember being quite disappointed with this purple shade but this is where i feel like at that time i didn't have like the skill level to use it correctly so i think what i used to do is i'd go in with tons and tons of eyeshadow at once rather than taking my time and building it up, which I think is the key with this palette. You need to really take the time to build them eyeshadows rather than going in with too much at once. And then I'm just gonna create this slightly winged out shape. So I'm just gonna do a rough sketch of it first. 
and then I'm just going in and really, really building that pigment up so it's nice and strong. I'm actually going to fill in all this portion here as well because I want to do just like a half cup crease so all this outer corner is filled with purple. So I'm just really packing that on just so it matches the rest of the eyeshadow I've already built up. I do definitely think one of my issues with this palette was lack of skill because I remember having such trouble with these eyeshadows in the sense of like they go really patchy or the colours weren't the best but I've had no problems yet. So I'm just going to lightly blend off this outer edge. Then I'm going to switch to a darker pink shade. I'm going to take this one here, which is called Dance Party, and another M507 from Morphe. And I'm just going to pack this on right over the top of that purple shade. Then I'm just blending off that edge again. Next, it's time for the orange in the sunset vibes. And I'm going to go in with this one here, which is called Feeling Myself. If you haven't guessed already, it's another M507. Again, just following the previous shades to build this up. I feel like this palette on the whole is a really nice mixture of shades. It feels weird me talking about this palette this way when it's been on for so long as well. One thing I did forget to mention in my introduction but I did want to touch on it was I want to do this series because not everyone can afford the newest palettes that come out and at the moment it seems like there's new palettes dropping every other day so i want to make use of what we may already have so you don't necessarily need to have the newest things to the market you can still make beautiful looks with what you already have so i just want to try and take that kind of feeling away so on instagram and i mean everything like that you sort of do feel pressure to keep up and have the latest of everything because you need to do these reviews and whatnot just creating gorgeous looks for instagram you can use absolutely any product so i just wanted to sort of display that you can use all of these things rather than having the brand new, the like newest and hottest item of that week. I hope that made sense. <laughs> Finally, I'm just gonna add a touch of yellow around the edges and I'm gonna use this shade right here, which is called No Joke. And of course, it's another M507. I feel like I should get commission for every time I say M507. Then I'm just gonna take a Zoeva 227 just to further soften up all of them outside portions make sure they're nice and blended i've just realized how much thicker this side is than this side so let's pretend that's not happened so next day i'm just gonna work my way back down the color stages and build up and intensify everything so as usual i will fast forward this bit so that you don't get bored watching me So I don't know if you'd be able to see, but just in this section here, I've had a little trouble with patchiness with the purple eyeshadow. My eyelid does feel quite dry there, so it has gone a little bit funny. I'm not too bothered because I know I'm going to cut that away when I carve my crease in a moment, just to be, like, just to show you all what it is actually like so there's just a possibility of that happening and the main reason it probably has done that is because how dry that area is the eyeshadow didn't patch upon when we first put it on when it was going onto that sticky base because it had the base to stick to you know an eyeshadow is bad when it patches on a wet base that is that's a no-no so because it didn't patch first time around it's just because the area is getting a bit too dry and there's probably a lot of product build up there. So I'm quite happy with how this is looking and I'm going to go ahead and carve my crease. But first, because our lid is so light, I'm going to get rid of all this mess using my Vaseline. So I'm quite happy with that rough cut. So I'm going to take my Peel Rees base in the shade Zero, which is the white one. And I'm going to use that to stamp on our eyelid. And for this, I'm going to take my House of Beauty CC2 Cut Crease Brush. Then 
I'm just going to take that brush that's got our darker shade on just to help blend this edge. Then to set down that eyelid and add a little bit of shimmer, I'm going to go in with this shade here, which is called I'm In It. And if you don't know, this is a, a white, but it actually is like, I don't know if that's picking up. It's got like a slight reflect of pink to it. I'm just going to take my DB14 from Doll Beauty and just press this all over that lid. So that shade is really pretty, but I just want something with a little bit more sparkle to it. So I'm actually going to grab one of my Peaches and Cream pigments. And this one is in the shade Pixie, which again is a white, but it's got like a reflective pink to it. And then just to make sure that actually sticks, I'm going to pop down a little bit of the NYX Glitter Glue. And I'm going to use the Sample Beauty PB11 brush. So I just want to do a really, really light coat of glue. I've took such a such a small amount because i just want a little bit of a sparkle i don't want it too much and then i'm going to wipe any excess glue off that brush just to make sure my pigment doesn't clump and then with the same brush i'm going to dip straight in and press this right on top of that eyelid oh, i love these glitter pigments they are just so dreamy so i'm just going to pop on an eyelash and today i am taking the angela lashes in the style daydream and of course you should all know by now while the glue dries on that i'm going to pop on some mascara this is the morphe make it big mascara And then I've decided I'm going to leave the under eyes blank with this one because I find it so difficult getting a sunset blend on the under eye as well. My under eyes are just not built that way. So I'm just going to pop on a bit of the Il Maquillage Icon Mascara. I'm going to pop on a touch of highlighter. So I'm going to take the Be Perfect Cosmetics and Mitchell Sub-Zero collaboration palette. And I'm going to go in with Babely, which has got like a slight pinky tone to it, which I think will look really pretty with this look. And then onto lips, of course, it's got to be a nude with this kind of thing. We've got to leave all the drama to the eyes. I'm going to take the Morphe Lip Liner Pencil, and this one is in the shade Love Bite. This thing is absolutely battered. I'm going to take the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipstick, and this one is in the shade Driver. Okay, that is the finished look. What do we all think? Do we like it? So that is all from me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And while you're down there, hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any future videos. It is one of my goals to hit 2,000 subscribers by the end of 2021. So let's help me get there. Also, leave me a comment below and let me know any palettes you would like to see in this series. I have got a massive pile of things that I'm going to work through. I have got a massive pile there of old palettes that I just do not use anymore. So this series hopefully will go on for a very long time. Thank you all so much for watching today's video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye!